What's good everybody, this is Otis here, and we got some uh, information today finally about some of the new changes that'll be uh, incoming for uh, Battlefield 4 in the next update, which is uh, good on a few levels. One, they're fixing a couple things finally. Now, now they are coming out with some other updates too. So far, they've only given the list out of the vehicle improvements they're going to do, or updates, or whatever, whatever you want to call it. But uh, they have said that uh, in the late January, beginning of February, we would get... Um, the uh, the second DLC or whatever uh, the the old maps basically so it, it's a good sign at least that maybe we're gonna get the get the new maps pretty soon so we're gonna get the old new maps soon <laughs> which is uh which is kind of interesting but this is the uh, this is the changes aircraft and anti aircraft uh, changes reduce the total amount of missiles carried by the mobile AA from six to four uh, that's gonna be good it's gonna you know basically be less spammy I would say. Uh, it's, I don't know, the one big thing about the AA that they did not change is they're still going to be able to fire missiles in the spawn. I mean, it's it's kind of ridiculous. They still, you know, can't change that, haven't changed it, won't change it, but, you know, it's just, it's it's whatever. So, and they basically are changing it because the for the helicopters, they said it was, uh, helicopters couldn't counter the uh, mobile anti-air at all, basically, with it. So that's the reason why they're changing them down to four. Uh, the next uh, change they have for the mobile aircraft is the 20 millimeter cannon. They're changing from uh, t 1,200 uh, meters per second down to 800 meters per second. So the velocity of the uh, of the 20 millimeter cannon, and that is going to match the 30 millimeter cannon, which I don't really think it's going to be too big of a deal, just because I, I use the 30 millimeter cannon exclusively, and I can kill people from my spawn still without getting away. So it's not going to be too much of a, of a difference, I don't think. I mean, once once people start getting used to the 30 millimeter or even the, the, the 20 millimeter, like the, the range on it, you can easily hit people still from just taking off from their spawn once you learn the bullet drop and everything. So I, I kind of think that's a little pointless. I think they probably maybe, maybe should have brought it down to about five or 600 meters per second. But uh, we'll see at least once the update happens how, how that's gonna affect everything. And then the third thing now we have is they're going to reduce the physical impact to the uh, anti-air missiles uh, against helicopters. So basically, as everyone knows, when you get hit with the helicopter, you basically lose control and you go sideways, go upside down, and you basically will crash. Even if you're in the scout helicopter and you got repair people, unless you're ridiculously high up, which is kind of kind of unfortunate. But you know, it's it's just how it is. So hopefully they'll get it fixed where you're not going sideways you know at least you know make the helicopters a little bit more enjoyable i would say and they've reduced the cone which the active radar missiles search for targets so basically right now that you have that big circle or whatever in the uh when you're in the mobile aircraft and or mobile anti-air and when you shoot it as long as that helicopter or planes in that circle it's going to hit that target um pretty much 99.9% .9 of the time and there's no distance on it um, so basically what they've said now is they've reduced the uh, I don't know the, the cone they're calling it for the missile when you shoot it so it's going to take a higher level of skill of predicting where your target will be and where the where and how the missile will lock onto it so that'll that'll be interesting to see how big how big that'll be and I don't know, I, it, it seems like it'll be harder. They're probably going to make the active radar missiles, at least in my opinion, probably useless. That's just what I'm, what I'm thinking at least. But you know, we'll, we'll see how this changes are. Okay, and the number five for them is they've increased the direct damage done by attack helicopters, gunners, cannons. So basically, the gunner will actually be able to kill things, which is going to be kind of nice because I don't know how many times I mean, it happens all the time when you're when you're gunning the attack helicopter when you're shooting. I don't know, like 10, 15 rounds. And you just see the people just keep running by, and then they get killed, and you get like a 20, uh, you know, kill assist, and it's just like, what? yeah, it's just retarded. So that'll that'll be nice. And the other big um, thing that they've done is they've increased the damage for the Zuni rockets for the attack helicopter, and that's because their smaller um, size and a little bit less damage basically made the Zuni rockets on. Uh, it was basically useless if you pick up the helicopter, so they're going to make them. Um, more, more stronger for the direct damage, and they have really haven't said anything about like, like the splash or the other little radius of the rockets. So that'll be interesting. And then and now number seven is the uh, the reduced splash damage and the maximum damage of the range for the scout helicopter 25 millimeter cannons, which I think this is huge. I think this is the one big mistake they're making for the helicopters. Um, 25 millimeter cannon. I think it was even a little too weak for the infantry splash damage. But they basically said that everyone's using the 25 millimeter cannons and no one's using the 7.62 miniguns, which are just 
horrible and so they're basically nerfing the 25 millimeter so some people could choose the 7.62 which I don't even know why you would choose that because if you most I don't know, it's probably nine or ten people it seems like will get the AA missiles for the sky helicopter which I always hate I never like those and so if you've got repair people if you're playing with people there's no need to use that so I mean I don't know you're gonna be, if you basically pick the 762 you're not gonna be able to kill any vehicles but now if you have the 25 millimeter it's also going to do less damage to infantry so I mean I, I don't know we're gonna be able to kill vehicles a little bit still they're they said they're just reducing the damage and the splash damage so I don't even know if that'll if that's just infantry or if that's just vehicles they really didn't um, specify so I just don't I don't like that change at all that's one thing that just really I'm just like what the hell are they thinking and now we have tanks and the anti-tank which is I'm, I'm liking all these changes they've reduced the intelligence as they put in uh, quotes of the uh, of the law missiles which is if, if some people have played with me before that's one of my it's probably my second biggest like bitching thing about this game besides the active protection and they're basically going to require it required the player to aim the missile close to their targets and the projectile will activate and hit and now they're saying you've got to um, Got to be a little bit more aiming towards the top of your target for it to for the smart warhead to work, and they're increasing the reload time of the law, which is nice because if you basically had to do people the law before, you would kill that vehicle before it would uh, before it would even know really what the hell was going on, and they fixed the active protection glitch on it. So because if you fire the law right now, it just goes through the active protection with I don't know like the 15 other things that go through active protection. And then, also, um, this is one thing that I really didn't realize, because it just shows how broke after protection is, but they fixed an issue where if you had um, the 12-gauge frag rounds for your shotgun, you shot a vehicle that had the active protection on it, it would still damage that vehicle, so that's just another thing that went through active protection, just showing that it was just <laughs> complete garbage. And this is one thing that I'm going to love, especially using the attack boat uh, all the time, so I'm an attack boat whore. Uh, they reduced the range of the M2 slam from 6 meters to 3 meters, and so basically what people were doing is everyone was using the slam and no one was using the M15, and so they're basically changing that up so people can choose either or. And if you had the, uh, the extra mines or whatever, you would get, uh, I think it was six uh, mines. And so you could basically have two groups of three and you'd be able to get two vehicle kills guaranteed. And if you basically put them on top of each other, it was, it was pretty devastating, especially if multiple vehicles were coming around. There's a couple choke points, I know, on Shanghai and a couple other maps where you could do that and get, a, get some pretty nice... Uh, double vehicle kills and stuff so that'll that'll be interesting it's gonna be nice because people are always throwing those damn things in the boats and like underneath the water so that'll help a little bit at least and now this is one thing i like too they've reduced the damage of the staff shell to all targets by 25 percent and so basically i think it was too many people were using the staff shell and so they've decided to um, nerf that a little bit which which i'm like i've, I've never liked using like a secondary um, cannon tank i've always liked using the machine gun because then you can at least kill the infantry because right now no matter what main gun type of ammo you use in the tank it doesn't kill infantry which is absolutely retarded that you get hit markers hit markers and the guy just runs away and you get like a five damage you know assist thing if someone kills them which is kind of annoying and whatnot but uh so far that's that's all the vehicle changes they're doing they had announced too they are going to do a number of uh normal balance changes including changes to the DMR so we'll see I don't know what you guys think about the vehicle uh, changes the only one I don't like is the uh, the little bird I mean but overall it, it looks pretty good on paper we'll see what ends up happening we'll see how many more things they do end up breaking once they uh, once they come out with this patch because that's what um, Dice and Battlefield is famous for is coming out the patch and just everything else being broke but hopefully you guys enjoyed this and uh, thanks for watching